Well, hello, Stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper, and welcome to the Global Monthly Video Hop. My name is Jackie Vandersar Boot, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in both Canada and in Europe. In Europe, you can find me as Jacomina Vandersar Boot. Anyway, the theme for this month is my favorite suite. And to be totally honest, my favorite suite is usually the one that I'm working on right now. So I had already recorded a video for stamping through my stash, which will now be next week, and it features the Round We Go suite. In Dutch, it's called Ronde Dans, and I only ordered it in Dutch, so I have to use the Dutch stamp set today. It's a gorgeous set, and it's the dies are even nicer. And I'll show you a few cards that I've made, but while I do that, this is the stamp set, and these are the dies. Now I'm going to be using this die and this die and why I like it is because it doesn't cut anything out. It just does a perforated um, circle, which looks really, really cool. Um, I'm going to show you some of the cards that I made. Make sure you follow the links to the other demonstrators for to, so you can see what they've done or what their favorite suites are. Now for this card, I just used, I used one, the die, this one and the circle one but you can really stamp a beautiful background with these stamps. And that's what I like so much about it. I love this little star one and the circle one. It's also great for making your own wrapping paper. So that's my simple card. And then here is a card. I This was just um, copied cased from the artisan design team. I think this one is by Sue Moore. And then this one I came up with myself. And it's going to be featured in the Stamp and Haven um, PDF tutorial. So. Uh, you can see three totally different cards, and today I'm going to make a slimline card, and I'm pretty sure that the designer of this card is Jenny Pauly, because I was already deciding to do this, and then the artisan team released a bunch of cards that they've made with this bundle, and I thought this one was just great. And what I like about it is we're going to make one of these pinwheels, but instead of making a full pinwheel, we're going to make a half. Before we get started, I just want to show you another pinwheel, and this is made with two of these put together and then this thing in the middle. So super cute. Let's get started. So our slimline card is 19 centimeters by 21 centimeters scored at 9.5 or seven and a half. So it's seven and a half inches this way, eight and a half inches this way, and then scored at seven at three and three quarters. Okay. So take a good peek or take a screenshot of this. And then the next layer, so this is a tone on tone card. Uh, this layer is eight centimeters by 19.5 centimeters or three and a quarter by eight. And now we're going to make a pattern in this paper with those dies that I was showing you. We're gonna scatter them on and I'm going to, so this bigger one and the little one. And I'm just going to do that all over the place, and then I will show you the finished result. You don't have to think too hard about where you're going to put these things, but um, you can copy mine if you like. Okay, so I've done it, and here we have it. So we have all those circles die cut, and we're going to pop it up on the card front. But before we do that, I'm just going to put this aside, and we're going to make our rosette. And it's going to be a half a rosette. Now, I've never done this, so I've not made a half before. And so we're just going to adhere these. Let's see, we'll put, it's going to go on like so. So we're just going to put adhesive on this little tab piece right here. Just a gentle, and you use this adhesive. It's important not to use too much because you don't want it to ooze. I'm just going to let that dry and then we'll put it together. So we're going to let that be. Now for the back of the rosette, I'm going to use this paper and I have put an adhesive sticker sheet behind it. So that's going to create just one big sticker. We're going to die cut that and then cut it in half so that we have a half of a, um, no, that we have a half a rosette. And we're still, usually you use those two to make a full rosette, like the one that I showed you here. 
but when we use the both pieces to make a, a half, we're going to get more pleats. So that's going to look quite nice. Okay, while we're letting that dry, we're going to stamp our saying in Summer Splash. So, and I'm going to use Gefeliciteerd, which means congratulations. I wanted a long, skinny saying. And let's see if my block is big enough. It is. Okay. Because we're going to put this coming off of that band, uh, off of that pinwheel so that it looks like a, um, you know, a prize that you get at the fair, something like that. So we're just going to trim this down with the paper trimmer. So I'm going to shorten that up a little bit and then make it a little bit narrower so that it's prettier. It should do. And then if you want to, you can also go in with scissors. Like it's still a little bit wider than I would like it to be. But once it gets really skinny, it's harder to do with your paper trimmer. But look at that. I did a pretty good job. I'll go down one more time. I'm probably pressing my luck, but we're going to try it. I did it. That's what I wanted. And I might even make it into a little banner. Yeah, so to make a little banner, you're just going to cut down the middle and then from each corner into the middle. There we go. Now we have a cute little banner. Okay, we'll put that aside. And now, now <laughs> I'm going to try to make a half a rosette. I have no idea how to do that. So we're going to struggle along together. Um, I have my half a piece to put it on. And see, you're just going to squeeze it in like so. And then it goes like that. Half. So I am thinking that this has to go down the other way. And if I put that down flat on here, I'm just I'm just thinking out loud right now. I'm not actually doing it. I just got my arm in my stamp. And then if I put the other piece on flat like so, and then press the rest of it down, there, that, that will work. But I find it really tricky to get these things to stick. So we'll take off the backing first. This could be really, you know, sometimes you see things and you think, oh, that looks good. But then to actually do it is a different story altogether. So I'm going to tuck this piece. No, that's not going to work. Let's see. I want that to go there. Hmm. All right, I'm not going to think out loud. I'm going to figure this out, and then I'm going to hit play again. Okay, I've got my sticky side up, and I'm just going to lay this on it. <laughs> it's easier said than done. You know what? I'm going to flip this over and hold on to it, kind of, and do this instead. Okay. Now I have it on there, but to get it to stay, I'm telling you girls, this is, and guys, this is trickier than you think. So I'm just going to do that and hold on to it. And then this piece that's extra, well, I'm going to wait. So I'm going to hold on to this, and then I'm going to you know, just spread it a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. And then on the other side, so this is the back side, I'm just going to slide it off my table. That's as good as it's going to get. I'm going to reinforce it with another circle on top. So I'm going to flip it over. So now we have our half circle. Now, this circle has some adhesive on it as well. In the meantime, I'm going to put a punch on top of this to hold it so that the adhesive has time to stick. Okay, the punch is holding that in place. Now, I'm going to take the adhesive off the back of this little circle. And I'm really a bit of a barbarian. There it goes. Now, I'm going to ease this off. 
like I'm playing with a wild animal. Oh, it actually stuck on quite well. And now, this is only supposed to be a half a circle. So, I've made these a few times, and sometimes the adhesive holds really well, and sometimes I wake up the next morning and it's popped open again. So, you need to have patience and you need to make sure you keep this on. And I think sometimes the combination of using a liquid adhesive as well as the adhesive sheets, like a double whammy of adhesive, is the way to go. While we're letting this dry and cure, I'm just moving it. And for the little tassel that's going to come on there, I've got some white um, thread, some baker's twine, and I'm going to unfurl it a little bit. We'll cut it into sections and then we're going to unfurl it. So it's one, I think three will do, two and three. These are about four inches long and we just want to play with them and pull them apart. Just there. And then you get this nice thin thread. And you know what, this is, I've done this before with different twines. It gives a whole different look. It gives a nice airy look. So I'm going to do that with all of them and then we're gonna gather them so that they float down. Okay, so I have all of my four pieces and I've just put them together. And I'm going to tie the ends into a knot so I can just adhere it with a couple of glue dots. There. See, and then that will just hang down and see how nice it looks. I just, I'm just going to trim that. There. And now we're going to have a look at this thing. Oh, it's already coming down a little bit. You can see. See, it's popping out a little bit from the side. This is not a good sign. I'm not happy about that. Let's see if we can trim it back. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lift it up and we're going to put some liquid adhesive underneath. Okay, it's misbehaving. So I'm just putting some liquid adhesive and we're going to do that again. The liquid adhesive is honestly the strongest adhesive that we have. There, I'm going to put the, that on again and we're gonna leave it. I am going to search for some embellishments and then we're going to add our embellishments. Then we're gonna add our rosette and then we're going to add our Clefairy Citeat. And then our card is done. So really the only difficult thing with this card is making sure that our rosette sticks together. So I am going to ask my fellow demonstrators um, if they have come up with any good tips. But I think that the combination of either a tear and tape or our adhesive sheets and liquid adhesive together are the magic glue. Okay, while we allow our rosette to firm up, we are going to put our card front on. Okay, I have put a few gems on already, just in preparation, and they're scattered to the left-hand side. I thought that Jenny did an amazing job with that. Her designs are so good. So, but Jenny is also a German demonstrator, so. It's nice for you to be able to get this tutorial in English. There. And then maybe one more up here. Lots of dimensionals. You can see that I had some, some dots on my um, cutting boards, on my cutting plates from the, the die cutting machine. If you really are a perfectionist and you wanted a beautiful pristine white background, make sure you're using new plates that aren't all scratched up and that you don't have any paper that could just detritus left on there. So let's just pop this on our card. Isn't it just so pretty? White on white is always beautiful. Okay, so now let's see. We'll carefully unearth our rosette. And Oh goodness, where did it go? I thought I put my, my, oh, ah, it's here. It wasn't under the punch at all. Okay, I'm going to now, remember that little flap I was telling you about? I'm going to press that like so and put it like that. So 
So we're going to put a little adhesive on the back of the flap and that will hold that part in place. So I'm just going to press it. Like so. And then like so. So we'll hold that again. And then we're going to trim off. See that little piece of circle that's sticking out? There. And then we'll put some more adhesive on the back of this and that should hold it all in place. Okay. And how it goes up, it's going to go here. I think I've covered up one of my ends. It's not perfect. I need to put a little glue dot. I will perform a little surgery on the bottom of this rosette here. Now, we're going to put this down with a couple of glue dots. And then I will firm that up with another glue dot later on. Here we go. This is not for the faint of heart, this half of the rosette, I have to say. So here we go, press that down. Let them kind of dangle a little bit. We'll put another one over top of it. And then we have this other little circle die that I made, and it also has a little sticker sheet on the back of it, so it's a little sticker. I'm just poking my pokey tool in there, take your pick tool, peel that off, and then we're going to press that down, like so, and then, actually, you know what, it's too late to pull that off, I'm going to tuck this in between, let's put a glue dot on the back of that, here, and in between it goes, And now, that's our finished card. Isn't it pretty? We're going to add a little sparkle here and another one up here. And now here we have our card. I'm just going to put a glue dot to press that little rosette in. But I'm really happy with this. I'm not going to do anything on the inside, although you could, of course, maybe I should. Um, I, I could stamp the hurrah and all this, dit is yow, yeah, this is your year, this is your day, hurrah, or haslam. But I kind of like to leave it till I know who's getting it. And then I can do whatever it's for. Because if the felicity is, is your birthday, then you might write something different than if you're giving this to somebody because they graduated. Okay? So, uh, glue dot in, in the little pleat to strengthen it. And then we should be good to go. So put that right in there and press it shut. So there we go. So thanks, Jenny Cowley, for a great idea. Thank you for joining the Global Monthly Video Hop. I hope that you check out all the other links to the videos and that you're inspired. And all the links to my Canadian web shop will be in the description. So just uh, click on the show more and then you'll get the whole description of the video and the links to shop with me. There's always a warm and welcome place waiting for you on my team as well, because the starter kit is always the best deal in the catalog. Thank you for joining us in the Global Monthly Video Hop. I hope you have a super day. Bye.